All right, guys, we got a full house in here right now. How are we doing today? Um, yeah, so I'm about to completely renovate this table. As you know, I've done a workshop build over there, and I needed to get some nice shots, uh, before and after shots of this table stabilized. And my DJI Osmo uh, broke on me. It finally kicked the curb uh, just the other day, and I was like, kind of bummed i was gonna have to hold this tripod like i'm doing now but uh then uh Zune came through and sent me a q2 so i am pumped i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this thing so i can test it out right now on uh on that table those shots i need so pumped to try this thing i always wanted something a little more compact than the Osmo, and uh, this looks like this might be a good fit. So, I'm gonna unbox it, see what we get with it, and then uh, also gonna test it out a little bit and see what I think. Looks good, looks good. Wow, it's even more compact than I realized by looking at the picture. Wow, that, it's actually got some weight to it too. Wow, it doesn't feel cheap. Um, I think it's 139 bucks on Amazon and just from looking at the price in the picture, uh, I assumed the whole thing would be, at least the handle and stuff would be plastic, but it feels like an all metal construction but yet there's some uh there's grip on here. I don't know if it's got a little charge. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. It's USB type C. Thank you. I'm so sick of carrying micro USB cords around with me. Now I can use the same cord I use on my uh Samsung phones, the same cord I use on my uh, uh headphones, GoPro, type C. Thank you. What we got over here okay now I'm anxious um, I, I'm wondering if this will work with my note 10 uh, guys I do most of my filming with the Samsung s9 plus which is what this is being filmed on right now so I only need this to work with an s9 plus I was just curious as to if it could balance or hold a note 10 plus which is my new personal everyday carry phone for the time being. But I don't do a lot of filming on it, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so here we have a wrist lanyard. And here we have a USB-C cable, and it's like the flat style cable. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so I believe that's all that's included. And then right here, the quick start guide and the service card. Sweet. And this has worked out perfect for me, guys, because I'm not a photographer, videographer, um, much of a, a creator that needs high-end stuff. I'm an everyday uh, motorcycle YouTuber, so I need something that's more priced along those lines, like this is at 139 and something compact to where I can throw... This gimbal looks like I can throw it in my pocket, and I don't look goofy carrying it around everywhere, like I'm trying to be a professional uh, photographer or anything. So I'm going to let it charge. And uh, then I'll come back and get my phone balanced and everything and uh, take some shots with it. Okay, guys, now I'm not going to go over a lot of time here on how to use this Q-Tube because it's very self-explanatory. It's the simplest gimbal I've ever used by far, the easiest to use, and it's the only gimbal I've ever got that will fit in my pocket. Like, legitimately slide it in your pocket and go hiking. Know, go to a party, go to a, a festival, anything, and not feel weighed down by some, some ginormous gimbal. A couple notes are 
your phone will probably have to be out of the case to work in this gimbal. And the S9 Plus is probably about the largest phone you're going to fit in it. I haven't tried the Note, but every once in a while I'll run into a little issue if I tried to do one of the POV or Vortex modes on here with the S9 Plus. It's just, it's, it's a big heavy phone and this is a small gimbal. So I think you're good with, you know, the big iPhone or the Samsung S9 or S10 Pluses probably are as big as you're going to be able to go. Uh, some awesome things about this gimbal 16 hour battery life and supposedly it works as a battery bank as well which I haven't tried yet but that would be super cool and handy because now a lot of people carry a battery bank anyway well now you've got a gimbal that will fit in your pocket that's also your battery bank which makes it even more justifiable to carry this thing this is more of a first impressions video than anything else. I need more time with this gimbal, especially outdoors, to really let you know if there are any other uh, bugs or anything I encountered. But so far, this thing has been handy with me. I throw it in my backpack, I throw it in my pocket. I always have it with me. A huge thanks to Zune for sending this out to me. Uh, this is my new go-to gimbal. Much smaller, easier to use than my Osmo. And uh, for a guy like me, somebody like you that films with a cell phone most of the time, which is by far the handiest thing to do, this is the gimbal for you. I don't think there's another gimbal that's going to be this user friendly at this price point by a reputable company out there. So thanks for watching guys, thanks to Zoom for sending this out, and I'm going to put a link to the Amazon uh, product down below. So guys want to support the channel and support Zune for for helping us out uh, that would be fantastic we appreciate it and uh, happy holidays and I'll see you in the next video